recently, a lot of Japanese land has been bought by Chinese people. Not only tourist spots, but also places important for security reasons, like near our self defense forces. In 1995, Prime Minister of China said, Japan may disappear in 40 years by 2035. It means Japan will become China's Japan. So today, we will report on what is happening with Japanese land. Welcome to the Japan Report. I am Meshida, and he is a researcher of Chinese people, Ken Suzuki. Hello, I'm Ken Suzuki. Meshida-san, I'm also a comedian. You forgot to say that. But on stage, you always make the same jokes. How often do you make new jokes? My jokes are authentic. You know, we are the Japanese craftsmen take time to make their art. Your jokes are like Chinese products. You steal ideas and make a lot of cheap replicas. Kenza, recently Chinese products are getting better than Japanese ones. You are really good at copying. Today's theme is this. Nowadays, a lot of Japanese land has been bought by Chinese people. I have a lot of Chinese friends. They are nice and good people. I like them, so it's no problem. I understand that, but China has the national defense mobilization law. So if the Chinese Communist Party orders them to, they have to do as told and all their personal property will belong to the Chinese Communist Party. Really? So that means all their real estate would also become the Chinese Communist Party's land? For Chinese people, it's like having a Japanese wife. Most of their salary is taken. Yes, but a Japanese wife takes it every month. Kenza, all Chinese people are just buying our land for their businesses. You take it too seriously. And before, the Chinese leader said, look back at our history. We built the Great Wall of China to defend our country. We Chinese don't have aggressive genes. Meshita-san, if the Great Wall of China was only for defense, why is it located inland now instead of at the border? They might relocate it. Meshita san, the Great Wall of China is a fortress. It's not your favorite Chinese restaurant, the Great Wall of China in Tokyo. If the national defense mobilization is put into practice, will the Great Wall of China in Tokyo become part of the actual Great Wall? No, it will become part of the front. In Japan, we don't have any laws restricting foreign people from buying Japanese land. So, foreigners can buy our land easily and legally. Foreigners always regard the Japanese as very non-diverse. But listen, we Japanese allow foreigners to buy our land. We accept diversity. Or China city. In China, their lands are all the Chinese Communist Party's property, so they can only rent the land and can never buy it. However, in Japan, they can buy and own land. Interest rates for loans are low, and it's easy to immigrate to Japan. That's why many rich Chinese people buy Japanese land. As a result, nowadays, there are many Chinese restaurants in Japan. The problem is that many important places have been bought by Chinese people. For example, places important for security reasons, like near our self-defense forces, water sources, nuclear power plants, famous resort areas, and tourist spots. And it's very easy to start a dummy corporation in Japan. For some places, we don't know 
who has bought the land. That's why a lot more places are bought by Chinese people than we realize. But it seems a serious problem that many tactically important places have been bought. As you already know, Japan is famous for spying, and Japan is called Spice Heaven. I'm afraid that a lot of our country's important information has definitely been stolen. Unlike other developed countries, we don't have spying prevention laws. Our spying prevention laws are vetoed by undercover spies. Before, one of Russia's KGB's majors said spies don't want to work in Japan because they have to work so hard. Japan is hell for us. In Japan, there is so much information to gather. They can't even take holidays. That's our Japanese government's strategy. The same as Japanese employees. They try to kill spies by overworking them. Kensa, I have a joke. A Japanese journalist who was researching death from overwork worked himself to death. Mejida-san, that's not a joke. It actually happened in Japan. Anyway, we don't have any laws that restrict foreigners from buying our lands. In 2021, we finally made a land regulation law which restricts people from using land within one kilometer of important places. But this law only restricts the purpose of use. People can still buy it. If they are going to make a law, why don't they go all the way and ban the sale of the land? Because our constitution prohibits the government from restoring rest, 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 from restricting people's private rights. And when we made a deal with the WTO, America and the European countries, made an exception for land being bought by foreigners. But our Japanese government didn't because they were aiming to get investment from foreign capital. But now we are facing a serious problem. Why don't our politicians change the law? Why? Do they pretend not to see these facts? It's well known that many Japanese politicians changed to a pro-China stance after visiting Beijing. They are warmly welcomed and treated as special guests, and it's whispered that their wallets and dick are dyed red. Kenzo, I came up with a funny joke. If men want to be rich and make love to beautiful women. They always try to become a celebrity or a successful businessman. But that's wrong. The best way is to become a politician and visit China. All your dreams will come true. Mr.san, stop shooting this boring video and aim to be a politician. Kenza, don't be silly. Your katana is all rusty. Now, we are facing a crisis in our country's defenses. You shouldn't prioritize your desires over national interests. You are a horrible Japanese person. You are the same as our politicians. In particular, the situation in Hokkaido is very serious. I know that. For example, in the Niseko areas, known as a famous ski resort, more than 60% of the land is bought by Chinese money. Not only Niseko, but also other famous resort areas have been bought by Chinese people. In Japan, we have a low birth rate and an aging society and many young people move to the big city. So, in the countryside, the population is increasing. The local government's financial situations are so bad that they sell their land to Chinese people to try and revitalize the area. Then, instead of revitalized, these kinds of areas have been Chinaized. 
in the future, there will be many pandas in Hokkaido. And their local food will become Peking duck. Furthermore, many water sources have been bought by Chinese money. Hokkaido is known for its beautiful water and as long as there is a water source, Chinese people could easily build their own city. Then, if many Chinese immigrants move there, it will become the Hokkaido Autono... Autonomous? 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 Autonomous region. Mr.san, why do you use that difficult word? My comedian friend, Raicha, she is a QE girl, always check my script, and she changed a lot, and used difficult words. Why bitch? We will have extra territorial places, not only on American military bases, but also all across the countryside. And after making it an autonomous region, the Chinese Communist Party will create their own revisionist history books. Then, by the time we notice, there will be more Chinese people than local Japanese. So, local Japanese people will be treated as gaijin or foreigners. Oh my god, that's terrible. I couldn't endure it. I don't want to be a gaijin in Japan. People look at you weirdly. When you rent a house, you have to pay the gaijin tax and you go to public bath. People look at your banana. It's awful. Your banana gives them confidence. Meshita san, shut the fuck up. Thank you very much for watching the Japan Report. If you really enjoy watching this video, please check out my Patreon page. I make special contents for only Patreon members. And Ken Suzuki has his own YouTube channel. Please subscribe to his channel. I'm funny. And I heard many famous hot springs. For example, the Hakone area have also been bought by Chinese money and they try to bring in many Chinese guests. Kenza, is it true? Yes. In the future, Japanese hot springs will be Chinese people's heated swimming pools. Just so you know, if you come to Japan, you shouldn't actually swim in the hot springs. Where else has been bought? Many of Kyoto's traditional areas. But I think it's very difficult for Chinese people to do business in Kyoto because people in Kyoto are famous for tatemae and hone or the public facade versus their actual feelings. Even Japanese people cannot understand what they actually want. They always say things in a polite way. For example, if they say, would you like to have another cup of tea? It actually means, get the fuck out. Chinese people drink five more cups of tea and go back home happily. But I think it's quite difficult to become familiar with the area and Kyoto's unique culture. Chinese people are mentally tough. Instead of becoming familiar with the local culture, they create their own community. I see. Then Kyoto will be a traditional Chinatown, which has 4,000 years of history. Recently, many Chinese middle-aged men come to Japan to visit sexual establishments and make love to Japanese women. Before, our sex establishments didn't accept foreigners, but nowadays, our economy is stagnant and people are poor, so many young men don't go to brothels. But on the other hand, many women work in the sex industry 
to earn money. So some sex establishments started accepting foreigners. Since China's GDP exceeds Japan's, many Chinese men come to Japan as a sex trip. That's what our Japanese middle-aged men did in Thailand and the Philippines. Finally, Japan has lost power and become a sex trip destination. I am so sad. Meijito-san, don't worry. On that point, our Japanese politicians still have power. Why? For them, China is a sex trip destination. And they don't even need to pay. In fact, they can receive money. I see. Our Japanese politicians are trying to save face as Japanese, even at the risk of being secretly filmed in the sex tape. They are visiting China and doing business. Hi, foreigners. Before the Japanese flag's red circle changes into a red star, please come and enjoy traveling around Japan. Because in the future, some places might be prohibited to enter in Japan or China's Japan. We don't want to be like that. We love our country. But many Japanese people take peace for granted and aren't taking this situation seriously. So unfortunately, it may happen. I'm afraid in the future, someone will find this video and report it to a Chinese agency and we will be sent to an education camp. Mishito-san! Jongo! One, three! Shei Shei, ni lai kan wo! Shei Shei! Zai jian!